Welcome to the video on how to perform a simple search on the new Fanuc Cobot CRX. So on version P35 of a software update, there was a new icon introduced called Simple Search. What that is, is a 2D touch sense routine that can only be applied to fill it well. So you can see I have a T-joint set up here as a demonstration. So first thing we're gonna do to make sure that we can run this uh, Simple Search is we're gonna go to our legacy view and set up touch schedule number one. So the simple search icon will draw from touch schedule number one. So you're gonna hit the menu key, extend your menu, then you're gonna hit the data key, and then you're gonna hit touch schedule. So here you're gonna to go to schedule number one, and then you're gonna hit F2 detail. So in this screen, just want to make sure that your number six pattern type, number six search pattern says simple, and number seven pattern type says 2D shift. If it doesn't, we're going to hit the choice key, and choose 2D shift. We can hit the choice key and choose simple. Now you're going to hit the back key next to your program name. That'll take you back to the icon. So from here, you want to make sure that you have your contact to work distance correct. And then you're going to make a program. So I'm going to go put my handle teach icon to my program. Turn on my free hand teaching and record my points. So I'm going to make a home point. Then I'm going to make an approach point. So here at this stage is where you're going to make your search point. So you can see with my torch angle here, I'm able to hit the top, top of my part and the bottom with the same torch angle. So very important is Simple search will use the torch angle that you have set for your second search direction. So right here, I'm gonna have my search, and then I'm gonna to go to programming. In the art tool tab, grab the simple search icon, and drag it in front of my handle teaching icon. Now I'm gonna put my robot in translation so I have the same torch angle. Move it down to my new search position. Then I'm going to add a second simple search here. So after I add my second simple search, I'm going to bring it back to where I want to start and I'm going to make it a post point to my welds. So I hit my left button once. And now what I'm going to do is hold the button for three seconds, get a weld start. You do not have to move the robot. You do not need to record your points. We're going to use position registers. Hold it again to record your weld in. Move it back to the end of your weld to get your retract point. And then move it back up to get your home point. Right. So now you're gonna hit complete until you're done manual teaching. So what you wanna do is hit your first simple search icon. Mine is gonna be number three. Right. So here's the uh, speed of the movement of your simple search and you're gonna be using the position register. So we're gonna use number one for our simple search. Touch frame is going to be world. As you can see here, it chooses frame number one for you. So in direction one, you're going to choose your first search direction. I'm going to be going X minus, which is towards my robot. And direction two is where you want to choose your second uh, search direction. And that's the torch angle that your cobot is going to have during the weld. So my second one is going to be minus Z to find the bottom plate. In the detail screen here, I usually have my search speed around 20 millimeters per second. At that speed, I'm verifying that I'm not moving too fast so that when I go to search that my wire doesn't get. Okay, the search distance and return speed could be edited, but usually 100 millimeters per second as a default is pretty good, okay? So now that my first simple search is using position register one, I wanna offset my well start to that. So what I'm gonna do is hit my well start, go down a linear, change it from position to position register, and make sure it matches up with my simple search. So that's number one. I'm gonna go to well start, and I'm gonna choose my pre-recorded well schedule here. Then I'm gonna go to my second simple search, and make sure it's set up the same way. Make sure I'm searching the right direction, so make sure my speed is correct. This, I'm gonna change to position register two. So now I have to go to my well in, change that, from position to position register two. And again, you wanna put in your well schedule and well speed. Now from here, 
be able to run your program. See, it found the joint. It do not have to record your well starting well again inside of the joint. Okay. I'm going to move my part back. Run the program again. been adjusted to my new start point. So that is how you run a simple search on a Vanico by CRX.